What's up guys, I'm Rissom from RossmerTech.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Windows 8.1. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust our power saving settings. To do that, we're going to either use our mouse or our finger and on the top right hand corner, swipe down until it reveals the search. Click on search, change it from everywhere to settings then type in power. Then we're going to go down to change power saving settings and click on that. Now, by default, it's uh, checked off with a balanced recommended. We want to click on high performance. Now I'm going to show you guys how to defragment and optimize your drives. To do that, we're going to use, again, our mouse or our finger and swipe down on this upper right-hand corner. Click on search. Make sure that uh, settings is selected. Then type in defrag. Then we're going to click on defragment and optimize your drives. We're going to make sure that Windows uh, drive is selected, the Windows C drive. Then we're going to click on Optimize. That's pretty much it. You're going to let it uh, run until it finishes. Now I'm going to show you guys how to disable unwanted startup programs. To do that, we got to get to uh, Task Manager. To get to Task Manager, all we have to do is right-click this bar here. Click on Task Manager. While at Task Manager, we're going to make sure we go to Startup. And here are all the programs that start automatically when your system starts. So all the unwanted programs, you got to look through this and make sure that uh, every program that you don't want to start up with your computer is disabled. So like, let's say this here, you, just, you would just click on it. And it's already disabled. To uh, enable it, you would just click on enable. Or to disable it, you would just click on disable. And uh, you want to make sure uh, you, you close all the programs that you don't want starting up with your computer. Uh, the programs that you should want when your computer starts are the antivirus programs. You, you guys should keep those up and running at all times. Now I'm going to show you guys how to clean up memory and unnecessary temporary files. The first thing we're going to need to do is right click our start button here, click on run, then type in parentheses, T-E-M-P, and then parentheses again, hit enter. Then we want to make sure we highlight everything in this folder, right click and delete. Continue. Now again, we're going to right click the start button, click on run, delete this here, and just type in temp, T-E-M-P, hit enter, click on continue, and again, highlight everything, right click, and press delete. Now again, we're going to right click the start button, click on run, delete this here, and type in prefetch, P-R-E, F E T C H. Hit enter. Click continue. Now you're going to want to highlight everything. Right click, delete. Now we're going to also right click the start button again. Click on File Explorer. Right click our Windows 8 OS drive or Drive C, whichever drive you're in. Right click it. Click on Properties. Then click on this disk cleanup and let that uh, run. And we want to make sure we click on clean up system files. Then after that's done, we're going to press OK. To prompt you to permanently delete files, you click on delete files. And what this is doing is cleaning unnecessary files on your machine. You guys don't have to worry about it uh, deleting important things like system files. It will only delete unnecessary things. Now I'm going to show you guys how to reduce runtime services. The first thing we're going to need to do so right click our start button, click on run, delete that, and I'm going to type in ms config, hit enter. We want to click on the services tab. Make sure you click on hide all Microsoft services. That's really important. You don't want to delete any important thing. Click. Make sure that's checked. Then just click on OK. I'm going to show you guys how to do some registry tweaks to speed up your computer. The first thing we're going to need to do is right click our start button. Hit run, delete what's ever there, and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Hit enter, click on yes. Now, we want to make sure we go to H key current users. We go to control panel, then, then we double click the mouse folder. Now we want to make sure we double click the mouse hover time. We double click it, and we change the value from 400 to somewhere between zero and 20. So I'll do, 10 here. I hit OK. Now while we're in the same folder, we want to make sure we click on desktop. Now we want to scroll down to menu show delay. 
So we found menu show delay. Double click menu show delay and change the value from 400 to somewhere again between zero and 20. I'm just gonna type in 10, I'm gonna hit okay. Now you won't see the difference until you restart your computer, but what, what's gonna happen is uh, your response time by milliseconds again, it's gonna go, it's gonna be a lot faster. So every time you hover over a menu, uh, the, the response time is gonna be a lot better. So you, again, you won't see the difference until you restart the computer. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. And also, uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Again, I'm Ristin from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.